guys welcome to my channel today I have a monthly favorites for you guys for the month of September I really didn't wear a lot of makeup um, especially at the end of the month but when I did I did use a few things that I want to share with you guys so yeah um, I'm gonna start with my primer because I've been really 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 loving this primer um, this is a bare minerals primetime BB cream in the shade medium this little guy it's perfect or just perfect um, you can wear it without makeup and it'll just give you like a nice tint on the skin if you have any red red blemishes going on this will neutralize it I've been really loving this guy I've been noticing that my foundation stays on longer as well so yeah and also it's been helping me with my oily skin I did buy this one and I bought one that's more for oily skin but I have not used it so far um, but I've been really loving this I bought two of these and I bought one of the the oil free one um, the oil control one actually but yeah I'm very happy that I bought two because I'm very happy with this little guy this has been my top top favorites another thing I purchased was the purity I've been trying it out and I use it every time I use I wear makeup to remove the makeup but I ran out of my face um, my face wash and I've been using it as a face wash in the mornings as well. And I have noticed that my skin feels much softer in the last past couple of days because my face was really, really rough the, um, a few days ago. And I didn't understand why. And I guess it was because my face wash had run and I was using other soaps. But then I used the Purity and it's been helping my skin actually get softer and smoother. So I've been really liking this. I like that it takes off the makeup as well. And... Um, I mean, it does take off your makeup, especially the foundation, all that gunk comes off. However, I still like using my makeup wipes first, especially on the eye area, and then using this after as a face wash and as of finalizing and removing everything else that was left behind. So, I've been really liking this guy. Another thing. In the past, I had purchased this before, and I loved it, and I don't know why when I ran out, I didn't purchase it again. I guess I must have forgotten, but this is a NYX Matte Finish um, Finishing Spray. This guy has been saving my life, um, especially, like I said, if I don't want to wear makeup, I just put some of the primer, spray some of this on, and I'll be matte for a while. Um, I really like this a lot and it's been actually um, also I'm actually wearing this right now I did spray my face after with this just because I like my foundation to keep matte I know I look super shiny but I'll tell you why in a second but yeah I've been really liking this so I don't know why I didn't purchase it before I ran out and I totally forgot and I'm glad I bought it again uh, moving on okay going going into this highlight I got this in my boxy charm last month and I didn't think much of it because I have gotten other highlighters and I just put it in my little drawer and forget about it. But the So Susan highlighting stick, do I have to talk about it? Look how gorgeous it looks. It's awesome. It's easy to apply. I am wearing it right now. I've been wearing this a lot too when I when I do wear makeup. I've been applying this just because it's easier. I just kind of draw it on and blend it in with my beauty blender and it's been coming out very very nice so i've been really liking this guy i don't know what i'm gonna do when i run out i'm gonna have to search it and just find another stick because it's been very 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 useful for me i've been loving it and yeah so that's that I've been seeing that a lot of girls was using this mascara and I said, why have a night I not tried it? And I saw it at the store and I purchased it and I automatically fell in love with it as well. This is a Maybelline Lash Sensational. And I got it in waterproof because I was going to go out and I wanted it to stay because just in case I got in the pore or anything. But this stays. Like my e.l.f. makeup removers are really good to remove any makeup that especially that is waterproof. But... It had a hard time removing this guy so this is sometimes it's a bad thing but to me it was a good thing because that means this mascara does not budge especially if it's waterproof so I'm really loving this especially the wand I like that the the wand it's it's like a rubber wand and I like that the product doesn't get all gunked up on the wand and it spreads evenly in between your eyelashes I just really been loving this guy I was a fan of the Miss Manga one but I think this one beat the Miss Manga <laughs> So, yeah, what else do I have? Oh, face. Um, I've been wearing foundations that are a little bit lighter for me and my skin tone, especially because I got tan lately. So I bought this Fit Me um, 
Fit Me Matte Poreless um, Powder Foundation. And I've been loving this guy. So I put my foundation on and then I set it with this instead. And it's been getting me that natural, natural skin color that I've been wanting. And it's been working really good. And not only that, it's been keeping me matte. And you know that's a plus when it keeps me matte. So really liking this. I don't know why I didn't purchase it sooner. I know it's been out for a while, but I didn't catch my attention. Um, palettes. I've been loving this palette since I purchased it. it. I've been a huge fan of this palette. I know it's not new, but because fall's coming, I always seem to gravitate towards this palette a lot. This is a Rainforest After Dark Tarte Palette. It is beautiful. I know it was on sale on Ulta. I hope you guys got it because I think it was only for 24 bucks, And I, when I got mine, I think it was like 30 something. Not much of a difference, but it came out again. And I really recommend that you do get it because it's beautiful, especially for the fall. Look at that blush. That blush is perfect. Gives you that perfect um, rosy cheek, which is not strong. And then the highlighter works beautifully. And the blush, I mean the bronzer. The bronzer is awesome. I use the bronzer. I also use it to, as a transition shade. And then I've been gravitating a lot to the dark, the dark colors. The purple one, this one's beautiful. The gold one as well. And then the dark brown one. Those three combined are beautiful. What I do, I usually get the dark one, put it on the crease after I, first I put my bronzer on the crease and then I do the dark one, then the purple on the lid and a little bit of the gold on the inner corner and it's beautiful together. It's a quick makeup look and everything is in one palette and you don't have to be grabbing a lot of stuff to make your quick makeup look. I've been loving this palette. I went out of town and this guy went with me because it's so much easier and everything's all in one, so... Moving on, um, lipsticks. I've been loving these two lipsticks, especially for the fall. Can we talk about my lips right now? Um, my niece got me, well, my goddaughter, my niece at goddaughter, got me this um, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick. It's a beautiful color. This is in the shade LAX. I love it. It just doesn't move, it doesn't budge, unless you eat greasy food, again, uh, uh, all, all, all. <laughs> uh, matte lip lipsticks do that to your lips where they don't budge and they do the dryness and then if you eat something greasy it just move around but other than that I've been loving it it does dry up a little bit but you know just put chopstick on the bottom and then you'll be fine so really been loving especially this shade I've been loving it for the fall and I've been actually carrying this sucker on my purse this is Stone by MAC ugh ugh there you go. I've been loving this guy. It's just perfect. It keeps it. It's a matte lipstick, but it's creamy. If you don't want to wear any crazy makeup, a little bit of mascara, put some dark lipstick on, and you're ready for the fall. That's what I've been doing. It's so much easier, and this guy has been in my purse this whole month. So, been loving that. And the last thing that I have is a 100% acetone glitter and polish remover. Removes art artificial nails, too. This a powerful powerful little guy I love doing my nails all the time and I enjoy it but what I hated the most was using dark nail polish and actually trying to take it off and leaving my nails all purple or black based on whatever color I had and I've been using this guy this is my second one that I purchased because it's been really really good especially the glitter you have glitter and it doesn't come off this is your guy I really recommend it. I got this at Walmart. It's been great. And yeah, I've been, I'm going to be using a lot, a lot of this, especially next month as well, just because I've been using dark nail polishes because we are transitioning into fall. And yeah, really loving this. So that's about it. That's all the stuff that I used this month and my favorites. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.